Hello, I'm Theodore Parker, and this is Friday, February 4th, 2022, and this is the Sideshow. Taking a few minutes to kind of organize things and get things together. Today being Friday, we did get the snow. 21 feels like 21 outside. I was going to move the camera so you can see it, but it was snowing earlier, but not now. So we can spare that. In your area, I'm sure, if you were in the zone, you got some. Don't forget the mask. I will say this at this point in regards to the mask. Coronavirus is very Omicron, etc., etc. That in this area we had like a 35, 36, 37 percent positivity rate at one point, and I just ceased to mention it. Now our positivity rate, I think, is down to 25 percent. So you may have noticed a few comments in the news about turning around the proverbial corner with Omicron. So um, again, mentioning that 5% goal, then you can just kind of like calculate for yourself where you are in your area. Got some items for you. And I'm going to admit <laughs> that I just kind of like end up just going with what was there. I had some ideas in my mind, but I end up just taking what was offered. So, and not necessarily in that order. Federal judge reflects plea that would have averted a hate crime trial for a man convicted of murdering Ahmed, Ahmad Arbery. Arbery. When the Olympics started, I think um, there was something like um, two men curling. That always kind of tickles me. Um, watching basketball and on one of the breaks, one of the guys that wipes the floor was doing curling motions in front of the basketball that was on the floor. Anyway, you have to be there. You have to have seen it, whatever. TV last night. Programs, Black History. Queens on the screen and exonerated. I thought all three of them were great, considering the content. <clears throat> it might be available for review. Um, ABC, which you might already have in your mind, ABC. And right after that, basketball. Another one of those down to the wire, two minute last second things. LA, Los Angeles Clippers, and Los, Los Angeles Lakers. Big score, one point win, went to the Clippers. But a lot of stats went up last night. A lot of stats went up last night. Okay. One that I keep forgetting and should have said earlier, being from Pennsylvania, <clears throat> Piscataway, Pis Piscatawney, Bill, <clears throat> Pennsylvania's legendary weather prognosticator, sees his shadow signaling six more weeks of winter, as if we didn't already know. <laughs> Washington NFL team officially unveils new name as commanders. My neighbor was kind enough to bring me some food and some other things since he knew I wasn't going to be getting out for a few days. Mentioned to me the name changed and I ran across the uniform and the announcement myself. And they look pretty good. Having ran so long as the Redskins, Washington. President Biden will send about 2,000 troops to Poland and Germany in response to rising 
Ukraine tensions. At one point, I thought it was 3,000, but then, you know, you have to adjust as you go along. And that being said, troops are on the way. Here's one, you know, Black History Month, you know, things happen. I, sometimes I can mention it, sometimes I can't. Um, but this one was in Brazil, and um, it's a comment on the incident that happened there kind of give you, give you what, the idea of what's going on. Um, a man from the Republic of, uh, Republic of the Congo, Democratic Republic of the Congo, was fleeing, was fleed from the Democratic Republic of the Congo to Brazil when his grandmother got killed 11 years ago. So he was considered to be a refugee. So, so, consequently, he ended up getting beat to death with fists and blunt objects to the point in his chest where he died. And in the process of this happening, the crowd has tied his hands and feet. So, the headline reads, of George Floyd every 23 minutes, fury of refugees murder at Rio Beach. So it goes on. I, I try to keep it, you know, concise and everything. Thousands of demonstrators are expected to hit Brazil's streets on Saturday to protest against the murder of a young Congolese refugee whose killing captured in a spine-chilling video footage has caused an explosion of anger over deep-rooted structural racism and hate violence. This is like, um, you know, I guess the summer of 2020 or the spring and summer of 2020. And so I guess that might not be the black summer, but it's kind of like when I started this program. So really kind of coming up on two years for the sideshow with Theodore Parker. But um, the man had went to his job on the beach to get his pay. He worked there informally, which I guess if anybody's in the hospitality business, they would refer to it as being on call. And he had to get 200 reais, which probably is about $28 American, um, where he works in formerly serving fish scopes. So his name is Moise Buginye Kabagambi, was beaten and battered to death. Activists believe the roots of Kabaganti's murder was much deeper describing the killing as part of slavery's malignant legacy in a country that received nearly 5 million enslaved people from Africa. The person commenting on this is named uh, Belcor. He says, Brazil is a country built on slavery. It's a country that endorsed, endured slavery for the longest, was the last in the Americas to abolish it. And the Brazilian society was organized post-slavery, was designed to perpetrate the social dynamic by which black people were subjected to the slave owner's way of thinking. But Cor said that all Brazilian society, rather than just black people and movements, there wouldn't be space in the news for any other topic if this was a white person from Europe or the US, but it was an African person from the Congo, so no sweat. I just wanted to kind of like put that out there. You know, we have our, I'm speaking as Americans have had needed moments in the press over various topics one way or the other. And that being outside the country, and having been captured with video footage, I thought I would let you know about it. Now, more than 300,000 without power amid deadly winter storm. Uh, more than 2,000 flights within, into and out of the U.S. were canceled in the midst of the storm, which caused a deadly tornado in Alabama. 
So I know around here they showed video of the airport uh, being empty, which is rare. Here's one which, um, again, similar to Brazil. Minneapolis police, Minneapolis, 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 say it three times fast. Minneapolis police release video of SWAT team shooting dead on black man. Which, wrong house, wrong man. Amir Locke was shot and killed. Uh, SWAT team gained entrance. He was on the couch under a blanket. Proceeded to sit up. They gave the command to, you know, police, police, um, et cetera, with some, a little bit of profanity with it. And when he went to sit up, he had a gun. So subsequently, they shot him three times, multiple times, and he died. But come to find out, 